Beautiful love. Morning, everyone. It's a beautiful morning in Plymouth, and I'm about to go to Exeter on the 915 train, and it's cost me about £12. So we're going to spend the day in Exeter and see what happens today. It's going to be a great day. It's like being in the Mediterranean at the moment. So let's hope the weather holds up. We'll have a great summer ahead. Lots more video. To friends, subscribe and share. Love Sometime TV. It's a lifestyle thing. Yours. So just in case you need a reminder of what a train ticket looks like, this is my ticket out from Plymouth to Exeter this morning. Just about to get the Penzance London Paddington train to Exeter and we'll see how long it takes to get there. So this is my Great Western Railway train just coming in. I'm not train spotted by the way, it's just my tourist guide. Well, I'm now on the train to Exeter and the train is heaving. Uh, I hope two ladies get their bikes on the train, uh, but it should be a great day next to it. A bit cloudy, uh, but it's uh, very, very warm. It's great Western train heading towards London Paddington, and we're now heading towards uh, Kingsbridge and Ivy Bridge coming through Marshmallows and then heading towards Exeter, where I'll get off, spend the day, and give you a tour. Coming uh, through Plymstock. It's now 29 minutes past 9 and we've just come into Ivory Bridge, the first stop coming out of Plymouth. So we're just coming out of Ivory Bridge now and the next station is Totnes. Oh yeah, definitely. Please mind the gap, so now we're just heading into Totnes. This London train is heaving, so these people are going to have problems seating. So we're just coming out of Totnes now, and the next stop is Newton Abbott. Newton Abbott, Exeter St. Davis, Tiverton Parkway, Taunton, Reading, and London Paddington. Well, maybe not London Paddington or Reading, but we'll be getting off at Exeter St. Davis, so that tells you the story. The next station is. Heading towards Newton Abbott, and uh, I'll tell you the time in a second. Please find the gap between the train and the platform, and take care when stepping down. Nine fifty-seven. So that's ten o'clock. So it's taken three quarters of an hour to get here from Plymouth. So this is Newton Abbott race course. We'll be calling at London Paddington, Exeter St Davies, Tiverton Parkway, Taunton, Reading and London Paddington. So just heading along the river X, coming out of the exit, uh, estuary and now uh, heading towards Exeter St Davies. It's the last stop for me today. We're getting off at Exeter St. David in a minute and then doing some exploring around Exeter. So I've just got the train from Plymouth and I'm now at Exeter St. David's. Coming out of Exeter St. David's, I'm now walking towards the city centre and it's about 10 minutes away, the Royal Albert Memorial Museum. University of Exeter, North Park Theatre, and uh, we've got Roman walls by the looks of it. So, five minutes from the station, I've come up to this churchyard. Uh, so, we go through the churchyard and have a quick look at the church.
So this church is a haven for wildlife. With all the natural habitat. So from there, death comes life. It's a very nice church because a lot of it's been unkept on purpose so that uh, the natural habit can take over and animals can live in the, uh, in the, in the grass and the, uh, uh, the area around the church, uh, which means life comes from death, which is great. So this is the monument to Red vs. Buller, 1859-19. 100, Indian, China, Canada, Ashanti, Egypt, Sudan, South Africa, he saved natal. He saved natal, what's that mean, 1905? Erected by his countrymen at home and beyond the seas, 1905. Doesn't really, yeah, doesn't really say a lot. So from the monument to Red West Buller, I'm just going into the uh, park across the road. Let's see what it says here. Ah, this is the Burberry Meadows. Nice little nature area. So Pipo to all my friends from Burberry Meadows, Exeter of course. So I'm in Burberry Meadow and Park, which is a community park. The origins of the name Burberry Meadows cannot be confirmed, but it's thought to have come from the Exeter's early benefactors, Canon J. Burry, who in 1667 was responsible for the building of the workhouse for the poor in the parish of St. Sidwell's. So I'm now just off Elm Road in Exeter and I've just come across this little um, clock. Exeter has two stations. Exeter St. David's is just on the road there and this is Exeter Central. In past Exeter Central Station now and this is the uh, Mercury Hotel. Exodus Central Station is just there and you've got the Roman walls there so I'll start heading towards the Roman walls I think. Now in Northern Hay Gardens and I've just paid £10 to have a look at a dinosaur exhibition. Uh, they said I could uh, record video but I'd have to pay to come in so I paid the £10. So um, let's see what we've got. That says it, it's Aurosaurus. Aurosaurus. Well, all is quiet here in the jungle as we're looking at the dinosaurs going really, really back in time. And this is a rather small one. Are you going to say something? Maybe not. Are you asleep? And there we are, he's beginning to wake up. Ah, have you been asleep? Is that your mum? And what do you think of the show so far? Parasuphalophus, like a comb dragon lizard.
Jurassic Park and I'm heading around with the critters here and these are little devils, look at them. Are you vicious? Are you, are you uh, a meat eater? Oh, I just put my, my hand on the high voltage wire. So today I'm in accident to meet my brother and we're both in Jurassic Park. I would have thought. I'm with a very protective stegosaurus and she's protecting her children. Hello. Let's go off the camera. So demanding, aren't they? Hey, I'm Sora. And you got the Exeter Roman War. Children eating their mother alive.
So we just come out of the park and this is the museum and gallery and that chappy there has just told me how to get to the walls which is just around the corner and exit to walls is all in uh, broken little sections so um, there won't be a lot there. So we're just going into Canby Street now and then heading towards the Phoenix Art Centre. So this is the Phoenix Art Centre, everything's compact in Exeter. So I'm now at the back of the Phoenix Art Centre and in Rugmont Gardens and it's really nice uh, here, lots of people actually, there's lots of people, a lot more people getting out and about than ever in the UK and it's nice to see them having that sort of Mediterranean attitude of getting out in the, in the, in the warm weather days. So when you come to Exeter, it's well worth coming to the Phoenix Art Centre. It's got a lovely little cafe and bar. So after looking at the Jurassic Exhibition and now takes it to Cathedral. So oh, this is a dog called Fern. So I'm now at Exeter Cathedral and I've been spending a lot of money and it costs £7.50 to get in so I think I'll give it a miss today. This guy is called Richard Hooker. He was born in 1553 and died in 1600. Yeah. So I'm now at Cathedral Close and I'm about to check out this little church. So this is the Gingerbread Church in Exeter. Come and check it out. Nice to meet you in Exeter. Eric. Eric, I'm Chris. Yeah. So what was that joke you just told me? I don't live in Exeter. You don't live in Exeter. No. Neither do I. I live in Plymouth. Oh, do you? Yeah. You don't live in that old city, do you? Oh, I hate the place. <laughs> but what's the, what's the joke you just told me? Sorry? What's the, what's the joke you just told me? Oh, well, you want to encore it? Yes, please. Oh, well. This year, this year farmer was looking over the gate into his field and uh, he got a flock of sheep in there. So he's very interested to watch for a while because uh, he just introduced the ram. So he wanted to make sure that everything was working according to plan. Yes. And a uh, young lad came and along. I am, I, I am and, um, and he said to the farmer, he said, uh, how long will it take me to walk into Bodmin? So the farmer never answered. 
So he asked him again, and the farmer never answered. So he thought, oh well. So he walks on up the road, and uh, then he had second thoughts. He thought, I'll go back and ask him again. So he goes back, and he says to the farmer, excuse me, sir, he said, but, um, he said, could you tell me how long it take me to walk into Bodmin? In a flash, the farmer said, 40 minutes. So he said, well, why didn't you tell me that in the first place? Nice, nice one. He said, well, I didn't know how fast you walked then. <laughs> yeah, that's a nice one. <laughs> Have you got any more like that? Yeah, I walked to this lady in Marks and Spencer's, and um, she dodged out, and I put my arms out. I thought, and I said to her, I thought I was going to walk into you. I said, a oh, shame, really. And um, anyway, I, um, I then went on and I said to her, second thoughts, I thought, well, I'll tell you this, you joke. I said, um, there was a lady the other day in here. I said, um, she wanted to buy a shirt for her, her um, husband. So the assistant said, can I help you? And she said, uh, well, I, I don't know the size of his collar. And uh, I said, I said, what I can tell you, I said, I can just manage to get my two hands around his neck. <laughs> <laughs> no, nice one, I like that one. Thanks a lot, Eric. Nice to meet you. I know, I have some, I make them up. Yeah. I don't tell any filth or anything like that. Yeah. They're all, I could tell, I could tell my grandchildren, you know. Yeah, nice one. Okay. okay, have a good day anyway. Hello, my concubine. So you've just seen the Jurassic exhibition in the park. And I've just caught up with my brother after a long time, and it's been really get, great to do that. And so I'm just walking along the River X for a while now before I head back towards Plymouth. So let's see what sort of views we can get here. Especially when you can get free. So I'm now at the end of the main part of the River X and that's the uh, bridge that will take me to Exeter St David's and I'll catch the train back to Plymouth. It's been a great day catching up with my brother and seeing the Jurassic exhibition in the park and so that was very unexpected. So uh, see the video soon. Don't forget to subscribe to Love Summer Time TV International Magazine. It's a lifestyle thing and we've seen in Saudi Arabia, Sweden, Australia, across the world basically. So join us. Where are you getting your train to? Um, I've been nearly an hour late service for Latin stuff. So. Okay. Well, have a good day anyway. Yeah, I'm going to be our peace. Cheers. Thank you. Thanks to all the great people in Exeter for a great day out. 30 years of culture and the arts is a free service on Love Sometime TV. Don't forget to friendly share my videos, subscribe to my channel and support me through PayPal at CCS Photo 1 at gmail.com. Thanks for watching the video.